Okay, viewers, here we are back in room 601. It's much more cleaner from the last time that we were in this room. So classes have begun. It's, we're about four weeks into the semester. Uh, today is a really rainy day. It's, it's really quite cold. It's October the 3rd. Let's just take a look out the window here. And it's wet. It is cold. Okay, viewers, well, welcome back. Uh, this is Jerry. We're going to see if we can do some painting today. It's the national holiday here in China. Um, the first week of October is called the National Golden Week or something. So um, most of the uh, students have gone home. I got this whole classroom to myself. Let's see if we can do some painting. Okay, well here's my basic setup for today. I like to have quite a few containers of water. So as you can see on the floor here, we've got some buckets and pails ready to go. I've got a selection of some paint here along with some charcoal sticks. We'll be doing some drawing and we'll be doing some warm up paintings just to uh, get things started. So let's, let's see what we can do here. I've also got my laptop here to see if I can capture some of the work that we're doing today. Um, I also have a smaller action camera here, which I'm not even sure how I'm going to be using this camera, but um, so we've got three, including, including the cell phone. I've actually got four cameras to, to play with today, so let's see what happens. Okay, viewers, so I am totally set up here to do some art here in the room 601. Uh, I really should take some time to talk about the amazing products. There's so many wonderful cheap products uh, available. I'll be using some acrylic medium today. Uh, I picked up this large, I love this nozzle. Um, I love this container, this plastic container where I can just shoot out some some paint here. Uh, this product is from Singapore. I actually don't even know. I've never used this before. Some Daya, Daya product. I suppose I could go online and find out more what, what this product is all about, but it's so cheap. I also like this little bag of um, watercolor paint. Uh, almost looks like a mini ketchup container or something. So this would be fun to uh, squeeze out some color. I'm looking forward to using this. And also this week, I picked up this lovely drawing board. Okay, I also picked up this very uh, cheap um, drawing art board here. It's a uh, lightweight, it's sort of like a hollow board. You can use it as your drawing table when you go outside or when you're on location and a really really cheap price here I'm not sure if you can see that but it's like 16 UN 16 RMB which is only like about like a buck 50 US uh, dollars for for this drawing table I've never used it like I think it would be nice to maybe do some painting if I were to get like 10 of these that would be like 16 times a buck. That'd be like $16. I could get 10 of these boards and do like a really large painting and put them all together. So I'm actually thinking of using these, these drawing tables as maybe, um, you know, for a project to do a really big painting. And I could just buy lots and lots of these lightweight boards. They'd be easy to put together, easy to uh, transport, very mobile. And so I'm already thinking, I already have a project in mind, and that's to use these boards uh, for to do, doing a large painting. Hey viewers, so it's a cold and rainy day here. It's uh, October 3rd. Um, let's get ready to do some painting. I'll just uh, have a quick shot of the main gate of the school so you can see um, the main entrance to the, the school here. I'm just going to put my phone out the window so you can see the... Okay, so that's 
the main gate of the school. Uh, we're on a one week national holiday, the first week of October, so it's a great time to do some painting. Let's, let's get at it, let's do some painting.
There she is, hi. This is really nice to get your call. <coughs> Well, it's, it's such a rainy day, it's kind of a, not, a, not a very nice day to be outside. <clears throat> but this is great because, like, I really need... Okay, some mooncakes, some national holiday mooncakes. Look at how this box kind of splits open. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize it. There's a whole nother layer of mooncakes underneath. I cannot believe that uh, my classroom translator, Kim, dropped by and, with these delicious goodies. Um, wow, this is such a wonderful surprise gift uh, from, from Kim. So a bit of a segue here, a little bit of a break from my painting, but it'll really put me into the mood to finish off this this national flag painting. Let's see what we can do to uh, get back into the mood of some painting. Okay, now that this painting is uh, dried up some and we can use it as a underpainting, this looks like a nice first layer. Um, I want to go in with some green now and see if I can reduce the uh, amount of overall colors. Uh, sometimes uh, less is more when it comes to abstract painting. So let's uh, see if we can continue with this one. I've rotated it horizontally and now I think it's really screaming for some um, green. So I'm going to, my next color choice will be uh, using like a light lime green. Okay, so here we have the inside of the typical moon cake. This one has the red bean filling, and it also has some like rose flower flavored, a little bit of a hint of um, a rose flower uh, flavor, but it's very good, very moist. Um, this is wonderful for dipping in teas or coffee. Uh, really delicious. Mm. All right, thank you, Kim. <laughs>